Hey, 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 we're back with our next episode, episode 23, Poe on the Call. My name is Chris Rivers. And I'm Mandy Mack. Yes, <laughs> and we are getting into self-care and different things that you can do to take care of yourself on your rest days or even after a long training day. Yes, and self-care is so important. Um, you know, you have to make time for self-care or self-care will make time for you. <laughs> that's, that's a threat. And if it <laughs> does, it will not be the kind of self-care you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Right, like our bodies um, really have a way of telling us when, when it's had enough and when it needs some time out. Um, like for me, I know I'll just like completely go blank and I'll need to just like sit and stare at a leaf or something like that. My body will tell me too, like it will tell me you cannot get out of this chair. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, nope, the end. Or even worse, like my body will do something like, like I'll have a hurt joint or something like that. Like my arm will start to hurt. My knee will start to hurt. My hip will start to hurt. And then... I'll have to deal with that. So yeah, self-care is kind of like giving your body a tune-up. <laughs> it is. And getting that mental relaxation that we all need to, not just the physical, I think, which is important. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I know you had a quote that you shared with me. Oh, yeah. Would you like to share <laughs> it with everyone else? That would be fun. Yes, so this is um, just one of those random words on a square quote that um, has nobody um, connected to it, um, nobody attributed to it. So I don't know who made this wonderful quote, but I thought it was great to read for our self-care episode. And it says, nobody wants to tell you why discipline is so important. Discipline is the strongest form of self-love. It is ignoring current pleasures for bigger rewards to come. It's loving yourself enough to give yourself everything you've ever wanted. And I, that's the end of the quote. So I thought that that was a really good quote because um, it is discipline um, to like, you know, take care of yourself. I always think of it as like, you know, like your inner child and like your inner child's going to scream at you. if You don't take care. So you have to be disciplined to like, you know, listen to that inner voice and take care of yourself and also take care of your future self, like yeah. set things up for yourself so that you're, you're nice and cushy. <laughs> I like that. And it, it also sounds like it seems like also knowing when to kind of ignore certain pleasures just to push through then to the final yes, I made it now. I can enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Cause you could like ha let self-care take over and just be like, ah, I am luxury, <laughs> but then like, that's not going to get you anywhere to your goals. So like, it's the fine line between like the, the balance yes. of rest and progress, I guess, I guess rest is also progress because it helps you to like regroup. <laughs> It all is progress for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love that I keep doing like this. Like this is this is the self-care motion. <laughs> Change the screen every seven seconds to keep them interested. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, you did not see that. I did. Yeah, you can see that. Um, we just I did Vogue hand face hand. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and my self care motion was was an arm pushing toward my body and then pushing it away, <laughs> which it might be like a, a like a tai chi. Um, now that I think about it, that might be like uh, a tai chi. Uh, tai chi. Oh my god. Yeah. It's really hard, but I really do enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tai chi would be a great example of a self care. Um, especially for pole dancers, because we like really hit it hard in the studio. Yes. And Tai Chi is more like um, centered and, you know, quiet and yeah. moving energy and like really being mindful about how it feels in your body. It's really, and the names are crazy. Like I love yoga and I can remember a lot of the names, but Tai Chi is like, 
bird lands on a stick or something or, horse, <laughs> or a horse. Uh, oh my goodness. It, I mean, it, it's really cool, but yeah. <laughs> yes. And also yoga. Yoga is a good, um, a good form of self-care. Maybe like um, a more restorative type of yoga, you know, rather than again, hitting it hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is so weird because when I uh, started Tai Chi and I actually want, wish I would do it more um, I thought it was like yoga so I was like this is just a different form of yoga and it is very different than yoga <laughs> it is not the same at all <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah and there's uh, the Qigong too um, I tried it's a little uh, more, more movement but it's also like the energy and breathing um, yeah, really beautiful, peaceful sort of um, things that are good to help us recharge and remind us of our energy <laughs> when we can't feel it anymore. Yes. Um, of course, there's always meditation and not the whole sitting there for 10 minutes to an hour. <laughs> the small breathing <laughs> meditations, like different cover this nose, inhale, cover this one, yes. exhale, or just like counting your breaths um, for like two, three minutes, or even a couple of breaths really can do wonders and calm you down. You don't have to sit there and focus like we all were taught many, many years ago. <laughs> yeah, so true. <laughs> and for like, in, if you have trouble, you know, sitting there and focusing, I, um, something that I like to do because I'm one of those people <laughs> is, is just like sitting there listening to music or like searching for new music. I'll sit on Spotify for like hours just, you know, <laughs> listening to music. And doing nothing else. And I think that's um, really beneficial to help clear your mind. Or at least that's what I do to help clear my mind sometimes uh, as well. Yeah. Meditation <laughs> is hard. <laughs> it is. But I do like the short burst. It really does work wonders. And it I think it does, like, with practice, help for the longer burst. Yeah. They definitely do say that the meditation helps build your brain, too. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, those are cool, like, restorative kind of self-care things. You can also get into kind of selfish self-care things. But, I mean, there is this quote, which I told you about, self-care isn't selfish. But you can do, like, fun self-care things that would others might see think is selfish, but it really isn't. Like, for me... Um, or for, I mean, anyone learning, teaching yourself an instrument, I think um, most people would be like, why are you taking the time to do that? You have, you could be utilizing that time for anything else, but it really is soothing. Um, and it is nice to take that selfishness or even like painting your nails or getting your nails done. Um, what things do you like to do as selfish self-care? <laughs> <laughs> right though like you have to like I said the inner child is like <laughs> what about me <laughs> so I like to award myself with treats <laughs> yeah and I also like to to go for walks I really like doing that it helps to clear my mind especially in the woods going hiking and stuff like that um other selfish things I'll definitely go shopping <laughs> maybe for shoes even just like looking at shoes sometimes will make me feel happy <laughs> <laughs> just like little things oh yeah I like to look at um you know like fresh produce sometimes that makes me happy and also looking at flowers <laughs> but also not I mean looking at flowers well, recently I found out that I was allergic to roses so not smelling them anymore <laughs> yeah stuff like that I like to do for selfish things I guess yay <laughs> then there's also like unselfish things like things you could do for your future self um, mm -hmm. to like cleaning your house <laughs> folding your laundry and not making it into a giant pile on the floor <laughs> <laughs> I zoomed into the giant pile on my floor for who's just listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff like for your future self, like yeah. setting it up so that you can relax later. And that doesn't mean like 
getting all your work done in like <laughs> minutes. It means like, you know, taking a look to see what's to come. Maybe you want to come home to a to a bed that doesn't have clothes all over it. <laughs> like do take care of that before yeah. you leave or stuff like that. And you can make it fun, do it in heels or a sexy outfit. <laughs> something take some pictures hey look at <laughs> yeah. some lingerie or something oh my god that's a good instagram picture right i was just gonna say it could be a whole new instagram <laughs> um, take that idea that's chris <laughs> <laughs> we can all do it yes let's tag each other <laughs> um, <laughs> what else um i usually like to I learned like a couple years ago, and I really do like it, the two minute rule. So if you have like a chore um, and like, it could be anything stupid, like making the bed, like doing a few dishes or doing like a load of laundry, um, ask yourself, can I get this done in two minutes, um, finish it and like still feel rewarded from it. And if the result is yes, do it. And you'll probably get it done fast within the two minutes. And then you'll feel so rewarded and you'll still be productive. Um, and do that throughout the day. And you'll find that it'll be easier. Things won't, um, how do you say, bunch up. <laughs> oh. Right? Because sometimes it becomes overwhelming. Yes. Yeah. I like that two minute rule. I know for me, I sometimes would. it's hard to like, uh, I can't like, sit there and do like consecutive laundry, but I'll like sit there for like a couple minutes, fold it, do this, do what I need to, and then move on until I'm ready again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also do that. And then I have to like bargain with myself, be like, okay, I'm <laughs> definitely not going to be able to clean the whole house, but I can clean the bathroom. Like I can deal with that right now. <laughs> uh, I am done cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> having a male partner with like male sons I'm done <laughs> yeah. that's so funny but yeah cleaning is self care <laughs> damn it it's funny but it takes discipline yeah it takes discipline to be good to yourself and the rest is practice um, is always a thing that will come up in everyone's lives because nobody wants to take the time to rest. We don't think it's we're being useful a lot of the times just because of how we are taught in this society um, that we need to be productive all the time. We have to be making money. <laughs> but really, like, um, <laughs> we don't have to do any of those things. We can just be... <laughs> And it feels so weird to say that, but like, we can't just be. Yeah. I, um, it really is, like you said, like managing your time. Like when I first started um, content creating and trying to be freelance, like I was awful with my time. Self-care was like, what is self-care? Like working for hours. And then I learned and taught myself how to make things easier because we tend to make things a lot harder even like if we work a nine to five we bring that stress home and we tend to make it harder on ourselves um so it's a hard lesson you really got to force yourself set alarms or something <laughs> yeah yeah for sure anyway it's really hard <laughs> it hurts smarter not harder for sure like yeah well we could do hard things we do hard things in the full studio yes um, <laughs> be able to do this. Yeah. Oh, another thing that um that I like to do for self care is the acupuncture. Um, yes. er, and another thing involving needles is another thing for self care is getting tattoos. <laughs> piercings. I love piercing myself or getting a piercing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like that could be a valid form of self care. It's also like you uh, know, part of the doing something nice for yourself. Yes, of course, if you pierce yourself, be careful. I have a piercing kit and I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I am not recommending it, but I mean, I am being honest. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I mean, have you gone to a piercing place? They're like one piercing, 50 bucks. I'm like, oh no, how no. I'll just shove it through my own ear or like my own lip <laughs> for 50 bucks. <laughs> 
And it feels rewarding. It's my self-care. It's like, yes, I got it. <laughs> it's like self-acupuncture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh yeah, I guess I guess if you're not into um, me and Chris are into stabbing ourselves <laughs> with needles. But if you're not into that, you can also go to massage. There's also massage, which we didn't mention. And there's so many different ones. Have you tried like the uh, the hot rock one? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had to buy some and we do it here sometimes. Maybe I'll do that tonight. <laughs> right, yeah, you deserve it. Well, that's the thing. That's the, the thing I always like to say too. It's like, remind yourself that you deserve it. Like, I deserve that. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a long day on the computer just to make sure I, I really truly deserve it. Yeah, no, you, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do anything. You deserve it. <laughs> but that's just how we're wired to think. <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah. I have a productive day before I get that tree. <laughs> I know. I feel like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Capitalism. <laughs> too funny. Uh, yeah. And I guess in capital uh, capitalism, <laughs> while capitalism is here, self care is also kind of a privilege. Um, for a lot of us, it's really hard to to find that time to to do self care. We don't feel like we're even worthy for the self care, um, you know, because of our situation. So that that is sucky too. It is. It definitely is. I say still try to work some time in, even if it's a minute here, two minutes there, and then add on, because you do deserve it. Yes, yes, everyone deserves it, and we need to check in with each other, too. Like, if you see that, that your friend is struggling, um, you know, maybe offer them some self-care time, because maybe they're not thinking about it. Yeah, sometimes we're so overwhelmed. Um, you know, helping others to that you can't fill your own cup. <laughs> your cup becomes empty. <laughs> so many yeah. self care analogies. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris and I are going to show you. So if you're watching the YouTube, um, and we'll also do a good good deal of explaining what we're doing too. But we're going to go through some of our, our self-care rituals with you. Um, and some funny videos. In some funny, funny ways. <laughs> yes, hopefully some funny audios if we can make those jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and hopefully they'll be inspiring to you. Um, maybe our self-care is, it will be... Um, our self cares <laughs> will be interesting and you'll adopt them as your own. <laughs> yes, for real. Because there's so many different forms of self care. I already have some ideas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see those, be sure to check our YouTube. If not, on this podcast episode, we are about to explain it via audio. So keep listening. <laughs> Here's a few ways that I like to do self care. I like to smoke cannabis and think about life and not die. <laughs> I like to sit on a hammock and look at the sky. I like to take vitamins and feel healthy. And also I like to pet my cats and they like being petted. He's so cute. I like to go on drives by myself with friends. I go to acupuncture. I like to go on long walks in the woods, hikes, being outside, being with nature. And I like to draw and journal and write down all of my thoughts. How do you self care? Hey everyone, here are some things that I like to do for self-care. Here we go. Ooh, and I like to do my nails. I just finished doing I wanted to record me doing them, but I forgot. So I have this bold color sneaker green. 
and a purple to get me the Joker look. And this calms me down and allows me to be creative, even though it's sucky. It allows me just to kind of unwind and do my nails, make myself pretty a little bit. <laughs> so that's one self-care thing I'd like to do. So I'm recording over this because when I recorded it, there was so much wind in the background. But another self-care thing I like to do is go out and enjoy some nature. So I'm out here in the beach enjoying the water and some sand. And there's so much wind going on, which leads me to another self-care tip, which is hanging out with friends and going out, which I am doing here. And sometimes you can combine these self-care tips of going out and enjoying nature and hanging out with friends to enjoy yourself. So those are a couple things I like to do so far. You can also take out your dogs for a nice walk at night time for self-care. Look at the darkness. Look at the dog. Nia! She is so old she can't even hear me. I also like to play the guitar for self-care. I'm not very good, but I do like to practice it. told you not very good but it is fun to practice and calming <laughs> i even like to treat myself to doing some makeup for some self-care and i hear putting on some eyeliner here some green just some experimentation of course not drag race ready yet but one day and then experimenting is always fun. Do crazy stuff. Maybe a little bit of this here. And now I look like a mess. But still I had fun. And this is some self-care and having fun. I even like to dress in heels and some underwear and have a photo shoot or a video shoot. Yeah, with a mirror too. Oh my. Yeah, some self-care. Click, click, click. Snap picture because <laughs> I'm a mess and I like to have fun this way. My name is Chris Rivers and I hope you enjoy seeing a peek of my life and some self-care things I do. I am a mess but that is what you got to do because we are our own people and only you can make yourself happy and that is what I like to do to make myself happy. So I hope these self-care tips helped. Until next time y'all, Chris Rivers signing out. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed the compilation videos of us and our self-care. We are certainly more relaxed after all of that self-care. And hopefully it inspired you um, to try some of the self-care things that we showed you or, you know, maybe you were wondering about. Um, and let us know if you have any questions about any of our self-care too, because I'd be happy to talk about <laughs> any of the things that, that help me relax because it's hard for me to relax. There's so many different ways to do self-care. So many different ways. Yeah, yeah. And share your ways with us too. We'll, we'll likely put them on a future episode. Um, self-care sent in from our listeners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be fun. Yes. And then speaking of self-care, we're going to take a self-care break. Uh, we take a break every quarter for Pull on the Call. We're going to take a break in two weeks. So I think it was uh, July. Or tonight. First. Yeah. So that July 7th, there will be no episode. So what should you do? Self-care! <laughs> Self-care. Maybe recap as you're tanning or out on the beach. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have, like, at that point, we will have had 24 episodes. So, like, that's a full day of listening. 25? <laughs> Isn't this 23? This is 23. Oh, yes. Yeah, so be... <laughs> <laughs> it goes by so fast. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening and being with us since the beginning of the year, which is when we started um, with these podcasts. So, <laughs> Boys, if there's any topics you want to listen to or watch, let us know. We would love to do it for you. 
Um, send us your Monday motivation pick and quotes. We love to share those. We used to use a scheduler. We don't use it anymore. <laughs> we'll, post it. <laughs> we'll post it ourselves and authentically as you send them because it is better that way. <laughs> <laughs> Right, like right. Lessons, <laughs> schedule our lessons learned for sure. Um, but always feel free to send us topics and those Monday motivation pictures and quotes um, and videos of anything. And we'd love to share you, tag us. You have this um, Poe into Summer Challenge as always. Feel free to take part of that if you tag us or DM us on social media. Um, you'll get a certificate at the end and enter, get entered to win a free digital poster download, um, which leads us into our hard copy posters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are 13 by 19. So they're pretty, they're pretty decent. Um, we didn't want to make them too big because we're making a whole bunch of them in our series. So if you wanted to collect them all, they're collector size and still big enough for you to see, um, the images of the poll trick, the name of the poll trick, and then a QR code. Um, so you can just use your phone and scan the QR code and get to the tutorial of the poll trick. And those are on yeah. sale right now <laughs> at our website, hard copies. We have beginner poll trick and intermediate poll tricks available now. And there's a bundle package. And when you order online, you get the hard copies and the digital downloads. Yeah. Um, Yes, we are excited cheat. about those. They each have 16 <laughs> tricks, um, access to 16 tutorials. Um, can't wait. We have so many more posters coming out. I was even thinking of more. We only thought of six, but then I was thinking, why not like a beginner part two, an intermediate part two? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Why um, not? Um, what else? Oh, and if you if you would like us to to interview you, if you want to share your poll story, your poll journey, no matter how short your poll journey has been, or all encompassing of your whole life, uh, we we would like to hear your story, and and we have a platform for you to share your stories. So yes. give us a an email or a message on here, and we'll set you up with a Zoom. Yes, and if you can. As always, like this episode, or if you're watching, so, um, like it and subscribe. It helps more pole dancers or people looking for pole dancing information find us, which is always important because we really need to make this mainstream. I mean, particularly here in America, other countries, you're killing it for sure with the pole dancing and pole fitness. <laughs> uh, but yes, um, every time you like or share this, we educate so many more people on this beautiful way to work out and dance and relieve stress and so many other things <laughs> yes right like pole could be a uh, self-care but yes yeah, for most of us though it turns into uh, an addiction <laughs> an addiction yeah <laughs> that we need self-care from <laughs> <laughs> why is it like that Ah, because I mean, it makes you feel sexy. It makes you feel stronger. It's always challenging, no matter what you master. Um, even when you master stuff, you still learn on that. Um, it's just, it truly is incredible. It's not like, I mean, Zumba and yoga and all those other ways to work out is fun, but pole dancing really is like, like it changes you mentally and physically. I feel. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> it is like it becomes your life because yeah. you're you just feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's enough for our self care episode. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes. Um, we hope you enjoyed this and those little funny video compilations. Um, yeah. Feel free to send us anything and we'll always make videos from it. That was, I love, we love doing that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. We're getting more into video editing. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely sharing everybody's stories because pole dancing is for everyone. Yes, I want to say too, like everyone's in story, everyone's story has been inspiring me, me 
to you know up my game with bulls. So <laughs> hopefully, as you guys listen to them as well, um, you you also feel that way, and know that your story could also do the same for others, or will also do the same for others yeah. <laughs> if you share it. Um, oh, Pulse Circus! There's still time to sign oh, up yeah. through July second. Um, for summers or uh, mid night summer's dream i believe sorry um but yeah it's a competition and a showcase oh my goodness my little palm tree <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's... <laughs> that signals it's time for us to sign up yes <laughs> we're gonna do our little sign off i got my heels on me too <laughs> <laughs> i've color coordinated my outfit too yes Ready? we have a pleaser episode coming out Excited. oh yeah yes <laughs> all right well thank you so much for for listening and watching wherever you're watching from <laughs> to our latest episode of poll on the call i'm mandy mack and i am chris rivers <laughs> we are we are signing off, off. <laughs> you have red shoes and i have blue ones yes <laughs> i can't wait to